Hi friends, welcome to Anand Science Academy. So let's discuss some NCRT exemplar questions from the chapter Control and Coordination. Label the paths A, B, C and D and show the direction of flow of electrical signals in the figure 7.2. Here is the diagram given. Let's see what are these labelings. The first one, A is the sensory neuron which take the electrical impulses or signals from the sense organs to the spinal cord. B is the spinal cord. C is a motor neuron which bring the messages to the effector organs. D is the muscle. Here is a simple flow chart that shows the path of electrical signals during a reflex action. See here, stimulus is a heat that is sensed or detected by the receptors in the skin. Thermoreceptors are there in the skin. These electrical impulses which are created in the skin are sent to the sensory neurons. These sensory neurons take these signals to the spinal cord. From the spinal cord, the messages are sent through the relay neurons to the motor neurons. From the motor neurons, the electrical signals are transported to the effector. In this case, muscles are the effector. As a result of this, the organ shows some response. In this case, withdrawal of the hand is the response shown by the effector organ. The simple flow chart shows the path of electrical impulses during a reflex action or this is also known as reflex arc. Let's see the next question. Name the plant hormones responsible for the following. Elongation of cells. Oxygen is the hormone responsible for the elongation of cells and the lengthwise growth of the plant. Second one, the hormone responsible for growth of stem is gibberellin. The hormone that promotes cell division is cytokinin. The last one, the hormone responsible for falling of senescent leaves is the abscisic acid. Here is the next question. Label the endocrine glands in the figure 7.3. Four endocrine glands are labeled here. Let's see what are they. The first one A is the pineal gland. B is the pituitary gland. Both are located in the brain portion of our body. The endocrine gland labeled C is the thyroid gland which is located in the next neck portion. And the one which is labeled D is the thymus gland in the chest portion of the body. Here is another diagram based question. In figure 7.4 A, B and C which appears more accurate and why? Observe the diagram carefully. The A shows the upward growth of the shoot and downward growth of the root. In B, both root and shoot grow upward. In C, both root and shoot grow downwards. Here, the first one is the correct. 
diagram figure a is the most accurate one because in the figure a plant root shows positive geotropism that is they grow towards the gravity and shoot shows the positive phototropism that is growth towards light in the other two figures b and c it is not shown properly so a is the correct answer next question label the paths of a neuron in the figure here is the diagram of the neuron and you are asked to label four paths here a is dendrite b is cell body or otherwise known as cyton c is axon d is axon terminal or nerve end it is known as match the terms of column a with those of column b here the first one olfactory receptors olfactory receptors are located in the nose which help us to sense or detect different smells thermoreceptors already we have seen thermoreceptors are located in the skin gustatory receptors these are there in the tongue which help us to detect different tastes photoreceptors these are located in the eye so let's see the answer now olfactory receptors nose thermoreceptors skin gustatoreceptors tongue photoreceptors eye what is a tropic movement explain with an example directional growth movement of a plant due to an external stimulus is called a tropic movement movement can be either toward the stimulus or away from the stimulus this is the definition for tropic movement let's see an example root shows positive geotropic movement and they grow with the direction of gravity whereas shoot shows negative geotropic movement they grow away from gravity but shoot shows positive phototropic movement that means the growth towards the stimulus that is the light so these two are examples for tropic movements what will happen if the intake of iodine in our diet is low iodine is essential for the synthesis of hormone thyroxine if we take low iodine diet it leads to hypothyroidism which results in a disease called goiter what happens at the synapse between two neurons at synapse nerve impulse of a nerve cell gets converted into neurotransmitters which travels toward dendrites of the next neuron leading to the creation of electrical impulse answer the following which hormone is responsible for the changes noticed in females at puberty 
estrogen is the hormone responsible for the changes noticed in females at puberty b dwarfism results due to deficiency of which hormone dwarfism results due to deficiency of growth hormone which is secreted by the pituitary gland c blood sugar level rises due to deficiency of which hormone blood sugar level rises due to the deficiency of insulin hormone which is secreted by the pancreas insulin is responsible for the regulation of blood sugar level d iodine is necessary for the synthesis of which hormone iodine is necessary for the synthesis of thyroxin hormone thyroxin is a hormone and the gland which secretes it is a thyroid gland so there is a difference between thyroxin and thyroid be careful with the spelling hope this video is helpful to you my dear friends let's meet in another video with another set of questions